Oh, he got caught. Here it is. Hey, Farm Fam! Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome. So you guys see this right here? Behind me? That's what we're doing today. Today we are making a new chicken enclosure. So at the last farm you guys saw my chicken coop, we were not able to take it. We actually left it there, so we needed to make a new one. So we got this garden shed, and this is kind of what we did for our last coop at the old house. So now we are doing it again, implementing some things I've learned, taking away some things I don't want anymore, adding some things, but we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. If you guys are excited to see this garden shed turn into a chicken coop, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up right now. Make sure you subscribe to my channel down below, turn on that post notification so that you can have a chance to be my next post notification shout out, and let's get into making this a chicken coop. So this is the used garden shed that we have, and it has some funny little details on it. So there's like, I don't know if you can see right there, it's like a little ceramic boot up there, bird feeder. And then this is like a little, again, ceramic hat looking thing, bird feeder, but it's pretty cool. It already has windows and then it has like this detailing that looks like wood, but it's a metal um, garden shed. So it's pretty interesting. We'll probably put like a vent or some type of window back here just for more ventilation. And then this side is another window. So let's go inside of it. So this is the inside. This is what came with this used garden shed and as we can see it's really cool because it's like framed in wood and also the windows already have like chicken wire screen on them so that's awesome we don't have to do that and then the flooring is all wood and then so first we need to start by clearing this out So we have cleaned out most of this. So we just have some random little things. Look at this, this is so cute. Little chimes. This person who owned this definitely had a garden and definitely used this as a garden shed. So we've got some things to take down. Saw blade. The perfect gardening shovel. more garden stuff. Okay, and then garden tool. These things are cool. They're like, obviously to hold up garden stuff. These are our cool garden tools that we have acquired from this shed. And then also this broom was in here, so it's perfect because I've been able to broom up and make a tiny little pile. And look how cute these windows are. So it has a tiny little knob and you can close them and open them. It's so cute. But this is how big this shed is. Okay, so this shed is a 10 by eight. And the last shed that we had was a four by six or either a six by eight. So we've definitely gotten a lot bigger in size and I can totally see the size here cause it's a lot bigger and it's awesome. I'm super excited about this. So. I don't know how we're gonna set this up, but I see a lot of coops where they like will stop it right here so you have like a foot or so here, and then they'll make like a new wall with a new door and then screen it. So we may do that. I don't know yet. I gotta see it out. And then Moose is really interested. Moose, what are you doing? Are you interested in this stuff? Please don't knock it over. He's probably gonna try to get it in this shed with me. So we gotta make sure that doesn't happen. He's so nosy. He's always gonna worry about what we're doing. Go on, Moosey. So I'm gonna just finish brooming this up and we'll have a fresh slate here to get started. Okay, so coop is cleaned out and I think we have the plan. So originally, I think I just said, like I wanted to screen off a portion of it so that we could have some storage, but we're not building a run. I don't know if I said that yet or not, but we're in our last coop. We had a, an attached run and what I mean by that it was screened in um, and it was just additional for them but they're going to be free range all the time now so and they can just come in and out. So what we're going to do now, here's the plan. 
we're going to make like basically a screen door for the main door so that we can keep the main door open if they're in here and we want them locked in here so that they have a really good breezeway through. And then this cube's much bigger than our last one. So all we need to do is like two to three eight foot long roofs and we'll do this on this wall. We're not gonna do it against here because there's no ventilation running through and I'd rather when they're sleeping that they can have the breeze coming through this way. And then we're gonna do nest boxes against the back wall right here. So um, we'll probably do it from here to here, down to here. So that's either like, let me think, we could probably get at least five on top and five on bottom. So at least 10 nesting boxes. And then my other thought, which we haven't solidified just yet, would be on top of it, put the brooder box like I have in my last coop, or leave that just the nesting area. And then right here, we would make um, like a little small pen on the ground and that would be like a turnout pen. And I'll explain what I mean in just a second. But then on top of the turnout pen, right here would be the brooder box for the chicks. So then basically when they were um, brooder box right here, they would sit next to this electrical so our heating pad could be in the brooder boxes for baby chicks after they're just hatched and then when they turn into juvenile chicks and they're ready to be turned out they would go into this basically cube right here so they'll have interaction with all the other birds through the fencing and then that would be their turnout pen so that would be the transition so that's what i think is happening right now and then uh, we are going to make a small door like you know like basically i want to call it like a doggy door but chicken door and i think we're going to either put it on this side or this side, I actually am almost positive maybe this side because that'll be under roost, so I don't know yet. And I think usually I like to make like a pan right here um, so that they don't make a mess of it. But today is roost bars and then nesting boxes and then um, we'll start to work on this if we have time today. If not, we'll work on it another day. But let's get started. So now, Mike is using this handsaw that we found in this garden shed because our saw battery is bad. There we go. All right, you guys, so we're stuck to using the handsaw, so I'm gonna give it a whirl because Mike is too tired. Okay, this thing is actually not that bad. I can feel it. We did it. That's not bad. Okay, so this is kind of how we're gonna do the roost. So we've decided where this bottom one is, that's where it's gonna stay. We, I, no, no, I think we're gonna drop it a little bit lower, actually, hold please. But then the second one is gonna sit right here. And then the third one will go up to about here. And then you guys just saw us cut these boards. So they're basically gonna sit right here. And then the roost bar will sit on top of them so that we don't actually have to drill through this really thin middle. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. All right, ready? First screw into the chicken coop. Voila! We've officially started turning into the chicken coop. Our second drill battery is dying. Chicken coop renovation is not going well. So the braces are in, and now we have to get this piece. It's a perfect eight foot board and eight foot shed. So that's what we're fighting with now. All right, All right so first roosting bar is right here. So roost bar is going in. Drill is pretty much dead. Had to pause from chicken coop build to find Penelope, and I think she's in our feeding shed right now. Penelope! Bad! Penelope has been eating cat food. Thank you, Penelope. I hope you enjoyed your meal, and look at some of the cat water really dirty. Okay, so we have our three roost so the top one will obviously just be for bigger birds and this one too the bandas may be able to get up here i'm not sure um but they can fly so i'm pretty sure they could but we do have this one lower here this is about the same height as the roost bar at our old chicken coop so the bantams will definitely be able to jump onto there but these are like twice as long as our old coop 
So they're going to have, and our old tube also had like three or four like actual bars, but these are twice as long, so they're going to have a ton of room to space out. And you know what that means? Room for more chickens. This was actually the shelving unit that we took out of the shed. And I did buy plywood to make nesting boxes, but this almost looks like a nesting box ensemble here if you really think creatively. So we are going to restore this and turn it into nest boxes and we're gonna do five on top, five on the bottom. This is 56 inches. So basically we need to take out the middles and then we'll realign them the way that um, we want because I actually buy these nesting pad things like you guys have seen off Amazon. So I'll show you those really quick. If you have chickens or want to buy them, I will put them down in my description down below. So these are the nesting pads that I get from Amazon. They get delivered. I'm on like a subscription, whatever. <laughs> But they look just like this and the bottoms are like a parchment paper almost. And you just put these exactly into the nest. And then you, I just fruff them up so that my chickens feel like they're actual nests. But they're going to do it themselves. And they're perfect. And when they get dirty, you just pitch them. Super easy way to keep things clean of bugs and such. But this is kind of what we design our nesting boxes out of. So this is how we did our last one. So we basically put it on and then we see how big it needs to be. Just taking a little break. And little Jolene is here. Jolene, you've been in the forest too much. You've got little burrs on you. These little things get stuck all over them. We have a little visitor in the chicken coop wishing it was a cat house. And he's off. Dommy, come back. He had his fun and now he's leaving. So it's been many hours trying to get this shelf to turn into a nesting box. I don't know if it would have been easier to just make a new one out of plywood, but it's coming along and it's not the best, but it'll do. So we just put on this little mini roosting bar so that they can jump up and then we're gonna put this one right above it and this one's shorter, so it's kinda like a stair type technique here. So it's coming along. So it's completed. So far, and it is getting late, so we need to put this in here. Cosmetically, it could be a little prettier because there's a little mixed match paint, but that's just cosmetic. We'll get to that one of these days, but it's very much functional. So we're gonna go ahead and get it in and get it screwed onto the wall. Nesting boxes are in, little space off the ground because that's what chickens like. Looks really good. I wanna back up and show you the space in here now still. So they have a tons of space, and since we're not gonna have a run, we're actually gonna have the food and water on the ground here, so it's perfect because there's literally so much space in here. Roosting bars, a la Croix, <laughs> and then the nesting boxes. We actually went with eight. I know I said in the beginning um, I was gonna do 10, but I wanted them to be a little bit more spacious, and I don't really have that many hens that would be laying eggs all at the exact same time, so it may always like pick their own nesting box that they wanna lay in anyways, so that's perfectly fine. We have all this space still. I don't know if we'll be able to get to this little thing that we want to put in here um, today, but we're going to keep going. And now I'm going to fill my nest boxes because this is essential. So I'm going to go ahead. This is like my favorite part of chicken stuff, I think, and um, building coops. You just, they, they fit perfect, just like that. So that's what I mean by you can ruffle them up and you just put them in here. Size. This one is a little bit bigger, the box, but that's perfect. So I just make them look like a mess. So I've got some. Here. Gonna have some happy hens. All right, last one. And snug. Perfect. Oh my gosh, I love how that looks. Cute. Super cute, super spacious. Now we need to go get shavings in the store. Moosey, do you approve of what we've done? This is for the chickens. It's not a cow house or a cat house, it's a chicken house. Do you approve? Okay. Gotcha. Jojo. Al does not seem to care about the chicken house. Guys, do you hear or see this? Stewie 
is enjoying. Oh, he got caught. Oh. Uh oh, you got caught. How do you feel about your bathtub? He's a funny boy. <laughs> Friends. All right, so we've got two bags of shavings, so we're gonna see if this works. Mike's gonna do the honors here for us. Open her on up. I don't know you guys, you might need three in the future, we'll see. Moose, this is not hay. So I'm just kicking around the shavings. It's looking good. And tomorrow, it will look bad because it's covered in poop. All right. Mike's got the second bag. So this is what it looks like. Enjoy it. Well, it's nice and clean because it will not look like this for long. All right, you guys. So a lot of that was old footage that you guys were seeing from when we first started moving in here. And like I said, I've just been so backlogged on videos. But here it is, present day. As you guys can see, all this was like bushes. And look, it's all clear. And the coop was like actually right here facing this way. Now it's facing like this. So here's the pig pen area and then here's the coop. It's super cute where it's at. I really like where it's at. So let's just do a little overview because in the ending of that video, we started to lose a lot of daylight. So this is what it looks like now. So feeder, water, shavings, not as dirty as I thought it was gonna get right away just because they spend so much of their time outside. Here are the roost bars. So they're still holding up nicely. And then the nesting boxes. These work great. The birds are loving them. And we already have two eggs laid today. So I love these things like I've talked about. I love them so much like this video is not sponsored or anything. A friend told me about these um, a little while back because her eggs were always so clean and that's why I ran and rave about them because it is so easy to clean my eggs now with these. So definitely not sponsored, just really like them. And if you are a chicken owner, I highly advise you get these. They have made my life so much easier and you guys will see how I clean my eggs in the next video actually. Um, so yeah, it just makes it really simple. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. We have our little chicken door that the chickens go in and out of windows and this is pretty much it we've kept it really simple because i feel like with chickens kind of like the simpler that you keep it the better it is for them eventually like i talked about we're still gonna add um like our juvenile cage area here in our brooder right now our chicks are in our patio as you guys have seen but we just needed to get the chickens out of the patio like i had said when we first moved in so Everyone's happy in here. And then they just kind of free range all throughout the day. All right, you guys, so that's what it was like turning our used garden shed that we purchased into a fully functioning chicken coop that I love. It has been such an easy-ish remodel and it's perfect for my chickens. My chickens love it. Totally worth it. Anyways, you guys, if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on that post notification so that you can be my next post notification shout out. Today's shout out goes to, and don't forget to get your trigger merch right now in the link down below. I will also link it right here. All right, you guys, I love you and I'll see you in the next one.